Hey there, we're down at the Imagination Station again, and what better way to kick off our Saturday morning than with a little chemistry? I have Carl Nelson here, the chief scientist. Hey, Carl. Hello. So put your safety glasses on. All we're right. going to get right into it because this reaction takes a few minutes to happen. All right, and we, we only, only have, have a few. A few. All right. So you've got three beakers of liquids here. Yes, we do. What Let I want you to do is start one, with the two, smallest three. one. You're going to pour it into your flask. Okay. And there's, it's just, you know, pour it in. There's not, nothing critical going to happen with this one. Or with the second one, which is the next smaller of the okay. white beakers. Got it. Okay. And I'll tell you what this is going to do once we actually get everything inside. Yeah, now, right. this last one is the one that's kind of going to initiate the reaction. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to pour this one in, mm -hmm. pull the funnel away, put it down, put the stopper on, and start mixing. All righty. Okay. Ready? So, yep, go ahead and pour it in. And you can immediately see something starts to happen there. But what I want you to do is just go ahead and mix it up. <clears throat> and oh, boy. And it looks pretty sludgy. Yeah. What we're actually seeing there Yours is Yours is sludgier than mine. Silver. Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. That's a very technical word. This is silver oxide. Ooh. What we're actually doing is silvering these flasks. Oh. The three compounds we added, we added some sodium hydroxide, okay. we added some silver nitrate, some ammonium nitrate, and a little bit of sucrose. And all four of those sort of combine together to create silver ions, Okay. silver... Um, that is plating out as metal as well. So this is kind of like a... Is, is it... Is it a right thing to say that it's sort of like mercury glass in a way? Is it going to give us that look? Well, it's it's going to actually coat the entire oh, surface very cool. with silver metal. Oh, this, this is looking... Oh, yeah. All this right. is how mirrors you were made. Oh, wow. Right? Back, Originally. back in the day, right? 1835, a German chemist um, came up with a way of silvering glass using only chemistry. Wow. Be careful a little bit. You're squirting a little oh, bit of sorry. that out, and some of it is a little corrosive, oh. so we don't want to... Right. Well, that yeah, too that's far. on my hands. All right. That's okay. That's why I got the clothes on. Okay. But you know what? I think you've probably accomplished the goal here. Yeah. If you can compare mm -hmm. our flasks with this one, that is so cool. It's clear. a little bit hard to see, but I don't know. Jag, can you see that pretty good? All right. Yeah, that so, is so neat. So we've actually silvered inside. Like I say, this is how mirrors are typically made mm -hmm. um, because it doesn't require any electricity, any sort of electroplate, anything like that. There certainly are other ways to coat mirrors sure. with a shiny substance. However, um, they're a little bit more expensive. Um, you could do vapor deposition, you could do sputtering. There's all a variety of ways, but this is so clean, so nice. Three chemicals mixed together, plate out silver, and this will last just like a regular silver mirror. Wow. The only thing we would do is mm -hmm. we would actually pull out the leftover chemicals and then coat the inside with a little bit of paint. Oh, so that it would stay. Yeah, if you've ever looked at the back of a mirror in your bathroom, sure. sometimes you see it's got that coating yep. on it. That's there simply to protect the very, very thin layer. There's a very, very thin layer yeah. of silver in there. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. That Probably not. very neat. But just tiny, tiny amount of silver. We made a silver ornament for your desktop. Wow, right and there. that was in a matter of minutes. <laughs> a matter of seconds, almost. Wow, very so, cool. Really cool chemistry. Um, plating silver onto glass. Yeah, a little bit of chemistry there, and you can do that, and that is so neat. You know what? Those are very popular vases right now, too. They are. Maybe not in the... Uh... They will be if you take that back <laughs> to your desk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, hey, a little bit of chemistry to get us started here on this Saturday morning. Always a good time to be down here and taking things on location. Mixes it up a little bit. Just a reminder, it is Saturday. That means Lucas County children, 12 and under, they get in free with a paid adult, and as always, they're always doing hands-on experiments here, so get down and enjoy.